When God is about to bless you, when you enter into the field of the Lord, what a perceiver. When you enter into the field of the Lord, can you reap with confidence? Can you reap with the confidence? What a perceiver. Amen. Because whatever is yours in the house of the Lord, it has got your name. And nobody can be able to take it from you. What a perceiver. Yes. Whatever is yours, reap with the confidence because it is yours. And nobody can be able to take it from you. Hallelujah. Can you tell that to your neighbor? Whatever is mine, it has got my name written on it. And nobody can be able to take it from me. Amen. Bona Persifa. Reap with confidence. You are in the field of the Lord. Yes. And in the house of the Lord, in the field of the Lord, they are all they are all blessing that we deserve. Yes. But many of the time that we come into the house of the Lord, when we enter into the kingdom of God, instead of reaping and doing our work and continue trusting in the Lord, we are fearful, but we do not understand that there is a connection that is there for us. There is a blessing that belongs to us. And we just continue to, we just need to continue trusting in the Lord and knowing that if we continue to hold on to God, we are, we are going to be happy. Bona person. Yes. And the Bible says, this woman by the name Ruth, she moved from working hard, from doing very huge, very huge work, just to resting, actually to resting. One person. Amen. But because she found favor, the Bible says that now she was just there, sitting down and control, and sorry, controlling all the field. One person. You know one thing, church, when you trust in God, He is able to transform you from hard work to, a, to work in favor. Amen. To work in favor. Amen. Sometimes favor is unfair. Allow me to say that. Favor is unfair. Because there are other people who are working very hard in this field. But they never receive the blessing that Ruth received. And I want to tell you that when you continue to work in the heart of the Lord, in the house of the Lord, whatever you receive, you may receive something that other people may not receive because you keep working in the house of the Lord. This woman was not just sitting in the field, but she was working there. She was working honestly, and she received what was belonging to her. So it does not matter when you came, what is your past, oh, yes. but what matters is when you find yourself in the field of the Lord, what do you do? One Amen. I want you to know that when you find yourself in the house of the Lord, that is a point of connection. One persifa. That is a point that you get connected to God. And be able to bear the, the, the pain. Because after the pain, there is joy. I know the Bible says that uh, uh, sadness may enjoy uh, may come for a night, but joy comes in the morning. One persifa. So whenever you find yourself in trouble, whenever you find yourself in pain, you need to know that just continue trusting in God because he's the one that is holding your future. And he's the one that is going to help you to get connected to whatever you need. But you see, most of the people, they just want to be in the second chapter, but they don't want to be in the first chapter. Is that possible? You need to first to be in that in this first chapter. Yes. And the first chapter it was a chapter of pain mm. and a chapter of hopelessness. What a perceiver. Yes. It was a, a, a chapter of a, a lot of tribulation. Mm. But now when we enter into the second chapter, now we see how these women were being blessed by God. So whenever you find yourself in the challenge, just trust in God. What a perceiver. Mm. Do not give up in that pain. Do not give up because you do not have hope. But if, when you continue to trust in God. That is when you are able to be connected to God. One perceiver. I don't know how many people know that this is a place of connection. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Praise be to the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This is a place of connection. Amen. And there is a blessing in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever is yours is in this house. Amen. So you just need to be connected. Like the way Ruth was being connected to Boaz. One perceiver. Amen. So you just need to hold on, on a perceiver. Amen. Because if this woman by the name Ruth, if she was not able to hold on, she could not have been able to receive this blessing. But she said, I'm going to hold on no matter what. Yes. So she never knew that this woman I'm holding on, even if she has nothing for me, yeah. 
This is the woman that is going to connect me to my blessing. This is the woman that is going to change my way of life. This is the woman that is going to know the God that is true. But offer return back to her God. But Ruth said, I'm going to cry to this woman. Because there is something that is in her that I can see deep in her. Even though outside she has nothing. Even though outside she is wasting because she has gone a lot of trouble and she has nothing attractive. I am going to follow this woman. And the Bible says, when she followed this woman, she was able to become very great. One a person. Amen. And she entered in the genealogy of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Whenever we talk about Jesus, we cannot talk about and that is why I, I say yes. that if you don't have this book, we cannot have Psalms and Proverbs by that book. Mm. Because we know what happened, they bought Obed, then from Obed, there was Jesse, David, like that. And then we know that family tree, how Jesus Christ was being born. One of Amen. And when I was looking this, when I was reading this chapter, there is some, something that came to my mind. Because I was wondering, when you look at the genealogy of Jesus, you will not see people like Sarah being mentioned there. Actually, people that you see like Ruth, Tama, if you know all their story. But now, because Jesus wanted to show them, I came even for those sinners. I came for them. And that is why I'm saying, I don't even want to care how your past has been. All that I know that it is God who directed you here. Amen. There are many, there are many fields that you could have entered, yes. but because God directs the steps of amen. His righteous people, yes. oh, can I hear Amen? Yes. God is the one who directs the steps of the righteous people. Yes. And I want to tell you this afternoon: you are in the right field. Amen. There is a point of connection in the field that you yes. are. Continue working in the field of the Lord yes. without complaining and knowing that God is going to connect you with a person who is going to change your lifestyle. One of your Because when Ruth was connected to Boaz, her life never remained the same. Amen. She was a window, a desperate person. Amen. You can imagine that in those days, actually, we, actually, women were not even supposed to work. But now because she ho she held on Naomi. God connected her to Boaz. She could not have been connected to Boaz, her destiny connector, if she never held on to Naomi. Many are the times that the people fight themselves in the field of the Lord. When they come, they fight their, their, their is a lot of trouble. Maybe I'm going through pain. Maybe I have lost everything in my in my family member. Maybe I have lost a husband. Maybe I have lost children. Maybe I don't have relatives that can help me. But they fail to understand it is at that point when you are going through that pain that after that chapter of pain, you are going to receive your blessing because God is ready to connect you. What you need to be is just to become thankful to the Lord even in the moment that you are going through challenges. When you are going through pain, you need to be connected to God. Actually, you need to worship God and you tell God, I know that I'm going through this, but no matter what, no matter what may come, I am just going to hold on. I am not going to give up. I am going to hold on to Jesus because I know when I'm holding to you, I shall receive what belongs to me. And whatever belongs to me, nobody can be able to take it from me because it has been written for me and it has it has my name. What a person. Then when you do that, you receive what belongs to you. You know, the Bible says that one day uh, when a writer uh, was about to leave, he asked Elisha, what can I give you? And Elisha said, can I receive the proportion of your spirit or the proportion of your anointing? The Bible says Elisha told Elisha, you have asked a hard thing. Yes. But if you see me live, you can receive what you want. Yes. If, you see me, if you see me live, you shall receive that double, uh, double anointing that you want. So basically what the writer was telling Elisha, if you are going to go with me till the end of the time, till the time that I'm going to leave, then you are going to receive that. You are going to go through a lot of challenges. You are going to be discouraged by the sons of prophets. You are going to go through a lot of challenges and a lot of trials. But if you are going to hold on unto me, you shall surely receive 
what you want. But otherwise, uh -uh. otherwise you are not going to receive. If you are not going to hold and to be I don't know how many times that we find ourselves that God is telling us, can you continue to hold on? And I have something for you. But sometimes we become impatient and we leave our blessing. And when we leave our blessing, we go just like that and we go to suffering. But there are blessing when we hold on, when we keep trusting in God, in irrespective of what is happening. There is a lot of blessing. What a person. Amen. Keep holding on. You are about to be glad. Yes. Maybe you have started a business and there is nothing that you are able to receive from that business. I dare you not to, sh uh, to shut down that business. Continue trusting in the Lord. Continue telling God. Because you are the one who directed me to do this. I shall continue to worship you. I shall continue to trust in you. And I know that when I trust in you, I shall receive what belongs to me. There is nothing that can be able to take away what belongs to me. So just walk in the field of the Lord. And when you find yourself in the field of the Lord, you get a favor that can never be understood by other people. You receive something that even you have not worked for. Because now I want you to see this woman by the name Ruth. Everything now has become hers. See, dear? Yes. Because, because she was married to Boaz. So now you are a mutua kiyoa, see, ladies, everything is yours. See, dear? Yes. So everything that was for Boaz has become hers. What a persifa. Just by one thing, she held on. What a persifa. Yes. When Opa said, hey, these things have become too much, then he left. She left, but we never heard about her. Yes. But Ruth said, no matter what, Oh, Naomi, you are pushing me to leave you. But I'm not going to leave you. Wherever you go, I shall go. Wherever you stay, that is where I'm going to stay. And I am going to be connected to your God. Your people are going to become my people. And your God is going to become my God. Yes. And wherever you shall be buried, there is where I shall be also be buried. Bona Persifa. And by doing so, by just holding on to Naomi, she was able to be connected to her blessing. Bona Persifa. Many are the times that, that we miss our blessing because of lack of revelation. Because Ruth could see something inside this woman by the name of Naomi. Maybe outside she has nothing that would have attracted her. But she could see this person